got about what you expected out of I mean you talked about the four guys that you were looking at you think mm-hmm. you got about what you expected out of those guys uh yeah I think you know it's uh yeah I mean I you know, like my expectations are as big as our stadium right you know so I expect us to uh you know to, to play extremely well every every day and every week and, and but I also understand they're young and they're getting better and and uh you know but you know the, the biggest challenge that we're trying to get them is be consistent playing and play on and uh, so, you know, I got, you know, got what we probably expected, but I think, uh, you know, I think we'll continue to see improvement daily uh, as, as the year goes on. Apologies for the press. It's, uh-huh. been, uh, it's been quite a journey for A.J. Natter to get to the point where he's been playing a lot. He's been through a lot of injuries. How have mm-hmm. you seen him grow since you, you got here and through camps? Yeah, well, he's first, you know, he went in right away. I can't remember if it was Ross or, or Freedom. One of them, something happened out of a helmet or something. And, and uh, so he went in right away, and, and uh, I think he made a play right away and uh, should have had a sack. You know, I told him Ross pushed him you know, <laughs> out of the way. It's veteran, right? So, uh, no, he went in and did a good job. You know, he had, he had 10 plays, something like that, and and, uh, and and plays hard. They all play hard, and uh, they want to be a really great defensive line, and they work at it every day. And, and uh, so, you know, A.J. works every day, uh, you know, trying to get better. He talked about, and you're the lineman that talked about that 100 miles an hour mm-hmm. mindset. How did you feel like, what, what miles per hour do you think they went on Saturday? Yeah, I think they were trying to. I think they kind of ran out of gas at some point. I think there was a point of, you know, young and, and trying to learn this game. And, and uh, you know, they you know they were, they were flooring it. And, and uh, check engine light came out a couple of times. But they played their hearts out, uh, happy with them. Uh, I'd be lying if I said it, that we weren't, you know. And uh, but you know, biggest thing is this consistency. Be, you know, uh, you know, can't have a great play and a bad play. You got to have a great play and then, you know, and then do your job. And, and uh, so that's something we're working on daily. You you, uh, you graduated before Coach Bowl got here, right? Yeah. Did mm-hmm. you know him at all? Yeah, or? I do. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What was um, I guess your overall impression of him as a head coach? Yeah, uh, I mean, he a lot of success uh, where he's been, and, and uh, that's it. You know, you know and. Uh, a lot of success where he's been, and, and uh, you know, uh, they won last week here in Wyoming. So you know, we've got a, a, a good opponent coming in that we've got to go out and, uh, and get better. Their offense any different than Fresno? It's significant. Uh, you know, they run the ball a lot more. You know, they want to, and uh, they want to pound it a little bit more, and that'll be a tremendous challenge for us uh, up front. What do you want to see from the, the Davis twins that would maybe get them in the game sooner? Uh, consistency. You know, where it's we can count on them playing and play out, and that's and they know that. I mean, then they're working on it. You know. Uh, you know, they're coming out early and staying late, working on their techniques and things. And you know, it's hard when you're a young D lineman to go in and play against you know these guys that we play against, and and uh, to be able to be out there and be consistent. Is that the separator, say, with Stoltenberg and them? Uh, I won't compare them to another player. I think just the biggest thing for them is just to continue to work on just you know playing and play out. Be you know, do your job. Yeah. A guy like Stoltenberg who missed the spring. Uh huh. Do you have to kind of rein him in a little bit because he's so eager to get out there that first time? Uh, you know he's uh, you know he's extremely intelligent. You know so uh, you know he knows his defense as well as probably I do. I mean he's really an intelligent player. I mean he's, he gets it really easily and, and uh, you know asks all the right questions and, and uh, you know he's got to you know like the rest of them just continue to work on his technique uh, every play. How much do you see the guys kind of welcoming this challenge with more of a Smash Mouth style team coming in on offense? Uh, I mean, look, any, you know, anytime you play a team that, that runs the ball on you, I mean, you know, who tries to run the ball, that's, a, you know, it, it's, uh, you always got a ball for the challenge. But, you know, I mean, that's, you know, Fresno State tried it. You know, every team's going to try it. We're in the Big Ten, you know, and, and that's kind of a, the mentality of, of uh, what we see. We see with our own offense. So, uh, you know, it's a good team. It's, uh, they have a good offensive line, and, and we've got to, you know, we've got to step up our game this week. That you played with Mike Grant. How fun will it be to kind of see him on the other sideline this week? I'm sure you guys used to have some battles in practice back in the day. Yeah, I know Mike's a good guy, and, and uh, it'll be good to see him after the game, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Saturday, you guys got that goal line stand at the end of the game. I mean, mm-hmm. that was a little thing. It didn't matter in the score, yeah. but how big was that in the big picture, just kind of to make a statement like that at the end of the game? Yeah, I can't remember who got the pick now. Uh, Jones. Jones. Yeah, Jones. Yeah, I mean, that was a great play by him, and, and – uh, you know, yeah, just to keep him, uh, you know, to go out and who's, who's ever on the field to go out and stop somebody in the goal line is always, always a big deal. Yeah, for sure. How important was it, you know, Mick right away gets a tackle, kind of gets gets into the flow of the game. How important was that for him? Yeah, I think any time a young player, first thing, you know, you can do is you get hit, you feel better. I mean, it sounds crazy, but it is. And, uh, you know, for, uh, for him, I think it was a big deal to go out and have somebody hit him and look to the sideline, and we're all going crazy for him. So, uh, you know, we just got to, you know, our, our front, you know, and I know you guys wanted more answers than I'm giving you. I just think for us, we got to continue to grind daily. There's no days off, and, and uh, 
you know, and work every day to get better, you know, and because uh, this will be another, you know, great challenge for us again this week. Hey, yeah, bigger, we'll, bigger picture mm-hmm. question, and I know mm-hmm. you don't like to talk about yourself, but mm-hmm. step back, mm-hmm. think about what what do you think about your first experience coaching in that stadium? You know, I mean, it was like I would say, we had the best place in, in college football, to, you know, to, to play. If you're a player, this is, uh, you know, obviously it's a, it's a big deal. I mean, big deal here in Nebraska, big deal everywhere. So it's, uh, you know, it was awesome to be part of it. You know, it really is. And, uh, but for me, it was more taking care of our guys and, and making sure they're they're prepared and they're not, uh, you know, losing their minds before uh, we even get on the field. Is there any other the guys that kind of kind of help you with that, keep the other guys calm? Uh, you got some veteran guys. Yeah, I mean, you know, the older Ross and, and you know Kevin Maurice are were pretty. You know, they they get it. They've been through it. They've run out the tunnel, fired up before the starters, and and uh, so they were, you know, they were pretty steady. They knew what to do, and, and uh, you know their play showed it. I mean, Ross had a couple sacks, and yeah. he was real consistent. So. Hey, Wyoming will have tight ends, fullbacks, mm-hmm. a big running yeah. back. Mm-hmm. I mean, what what we learn more about your group when you see a team that kind of comes at you more physically than what Fresno did maybe last week? Yeah, you know, well, that'll be it's gonna be a big challenge for us, and uh, you know, but we see a lot of this stuff on their own offense. You know, they have the ability to line up and play smash mouth. You know, we, uh, you know, so we're, you know, hey, you know, it's another team and it's a faceless opponent. We just got to go out and get better. And Kevin Maurice is a guy that, you know, everybody kind of just always oh, a veteran. I mean, he only had one career start before this, right. you know, this last game. Right. Is that a positive sign that people just kind of? Assume that it's a it's a given that he's going to play well, given that he hasn't really. Yeah, you know, it. it's uh, you know, he, but he's played a lot in games. He just hadn't started, you know, and, and he earned that black shirt. And he earns it every day, and, and uh, you know, he's, he's, yeah, he's, he's you know, he knows what he's doing. He's a veteran. He can play nose. He can play three, and uh, you know, he can. You know, we got caught in the game, and, and uh, you know, he jumped in at the nose course and played nose and, and made a tackle. So I mean, the kid can play anywhere, and. and uh, you know, he's one of those kids. He's uh, you know, he wants to get better every day, and just like our group, and they are. You know, and uh, we're you know, just got to keep it up.